Well, today it is an honor for me right now to introduce the visionary leader of Rock Ministries, Real Life Ministries, Pastor Don Phillips, who is one of the three executive members of the International Federation of Christian Churches, which is a voice that unifies many, many churches, over 500 churches in the country, unified by that one voice, Pastor Don Phillips, Pastor Ad Boshoff, and Bishop Musa Sono. They are the key uh, executive leadership that are driving that voice. And he was one of those leaders that stood very strongly and boldly when the church doors were shut during the COVID season. We, we are so honored to be led by strong leadership. Can we put our hands together just for that? Just for that, we are so bold, blessed to be led by strong leadership. Amen. Pastor Don Phillips is the senior pastor together with Pastor Nomsa of RAC Real Life Ministries, uh, and which is based in Mtata, the city where Jesus was almost born in the Eastern Cave. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Don is very passionate. From 1992, together with my wife, we have known them. That passion has moved from level to level, is growing stronger by day. Uh, in, in, and uh, they've been pastoring since 1989. Under their leadership, the church has built a 6,500-seater 6, auditorium in Umtata. It's built. It is standing there. Hallelujah. And uh, a first of its kind in the region. And they have continued to plant 26 daughter churches in the nearby villages and the cities of uh, South Africa. Pastor Don is passionate about church planting, about evangelism, and development of nearby communities with various forms of development outreaches. Pastor Don and Pastor Nomsa have been married for 40 years and they are blessed with three children and two grandchildren. I don't concur with that because I am part of those children. Hallelujah. I think maybe four, okay, if good uh, Many, 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 many other sons and daughters. Church, please stand as we receive Pastor Don Phillips to the auditorium. Hallelujah. As he comes to minister the word of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wow, wow. You may be seated. Thank you. No pressure. I am fine. I am, I am fine. No pressure. Right? <laughs> wow. Thank you, Pastor Jay and Mahadi. Because Pastor Jay and Mahadi. Um, thanks again for dedicating your lives to the cause. It's not everybody who sticks it out for as long as you guys have done. Many talk, but very few actually do. We are not called to be talkers, <laughs> no even hearers, but we are called to be doers of the word of God. On our lives, my wife and myself, we are extremely moved by people who are not just talking, but actually put their lives behind what they are saying. So you are one of those who are inspiring us. Amen. I am forever tempted to tell stories when I look at them. But I refuse that temptation in the name of Jesus. 
But don't trust me if I will resist it until the end. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes, I'm here with my wife and the team from Mtata. Thank hey. you guys for coming with us. And we're here with our friends. Um, this is my prayer. That in this country, God will help us to go beyond seeing color and actually see a person. That's my prayer. So I sometimes, I sometimes need someone to remind me <laughs> that these guys are white. I really, really, really don't see white. And I see family, I see colleagues, I see friends. Because there are some of my skin color who I'm scared of. So Pastor Glenn and Allison, thanks guys for being here. Pastor Glenn, Pastor Allison. But Pastor Allison, I want to commend you for staying married to this guy. I mean, <laughs> <for all years. laughs> making him look smart. This guy was a black label guy. Why isn't he like black label? <laughs> <laughs> If it was not for the grace of God <laughs> and the lovely wife that he is married to. <laughs> when God said it's not good for a man to be alone, I think he was talking about you. <laughs> they are friends of ours in this ministry of RUCC. And uh, we are very proud of that. We come a long way. And we're still going a long way. Until Jesus comes. You know, Bishop Musa and myself, in the years gone by, we were asked questions. What do you want next to these white people? You guys can stand on your own. That's where they missed it. To us, we were not seeing white people. We were seeing God's children. Just like us. Just like us. I know where the difference is. The difference is only in language. But I'm smarter than them. Because I, I speak my language. And I also speak their language. I might not say the right way. Like if you ask me where is my wife, I say he's at home. So... <laughs> What is what is your wife doing? Oh no, he is pregnant. So, <laughs> but I'm trying. Yes, I'm a god. And they hear what I'm saying. But I will not allow Glenn to speak Zulu because this is Zulu. So, uh-huh. 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 no, 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 stick to your English. 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 to to explain to him what a politician is. <laughs> I'm told that this one day, a politician like him was so fed up hanging around people like him that he thought, let me just get normal people and spend a bit of time with them. So this is what he did. He called the, the imam from the, from the mosque. <laughs> and they got a Jewish rabbi. And he said, listen guys. With you, I think I can just chill up. Let's just get into my car. Just drive. Go wherever. Just drive. For a change, I don't want to talk politics. And they drove. They they drove so far when the sun said they realized that they are far from home. And the politician said, Tell you what, 
Let's try our luck in these farmhouses here. Ask them to just put, put us up for a night. So they went into the first farmhouse. Spoke to the farmer and he says, no, I can, I can help you guys. So, but my problem is, gee, I've only got three beds in the house. Um, obviously, one is for me and my wife, and then no, the politician, and he says, I, I'm even ashamed to say this, but next to my shed where I keep my animals, there is a room there, it's, it's quite decent. It's got a bed. The politician says, listen, I'll go sleep there. No, 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 the Jewish rabbi says, no way, no, 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 no. Not the, mayor, not the mayor. So he, he volunteered. He went to sleep in the shed. In a few minutes, there was a knock at the door. It was the rabbi. He says to the farmer, with due respect, sir, I didn't realize that you've got some pigs there. You know us choosing. So, please, man. The politician says, tell you what I told you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. He, 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 he went, he slept. After a few minutes, there was commotion in the front door. And the farmer thought, okay, okay, what else now? Now? He opens the door. All the cattle, the sheep, and the goats, and the pigs were in the front door. They asked the farmer, how do you expect us to sleep? That guy can't keep quiet. From the time he came, telling us on what he's planning to do, where he's going to take us and... That's a politician for um, you. But if this mayor with the help of God can do what he says, there is hope for this city. And our role as God's people is to pray for those in authority. Back Mtata is not the DA that is in authority. And I always tell the ruling party, the day you voted out, don't think we are loyal to you. We are obeying scripture. That says for those who are in authority, if they vote you out, bye bye. We're gonna be with those who are in authority. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. Now let me try and preach. I promise you this much. I am not a theologian. <laughs> Just like Pastor Yiga. Jengo Pastor Yiga. Jengo Pastor Yiga lo. But I'm very deep. You have to get very serious now. I'm very deep. So deep that I'll confuse you. I'm very deep. But tonight I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get there. That's a joke. <laughs> One of the things that we have Realized after COVID. It's how the church got purged of fakes. No. Zongi fake. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. All the fakes. Those who are still around. They are exposed for what they are. At the same time. This gives us an opportunity. For the fakes. To get real with God. Stop playing church. Get real with God. 
Now when I talk about faiths, I'm not talking about the congregation. I'm talking from the pulpit to the congregation. The faiths were exposed. You see, it's very easy when there is no danger to be bold. It is very easy when there is no pandemic to make statements like Jesus is the healer. But what happens when the pandemic hits? Some of us are not popular because we refused to bow. This is the question I kept asking myself. If during COVID, I've COVID, lost my boldness to say Jesus is the so healer, will I ever come back after COVID, after COVID and say Jesus is the healer? How, do I, how will I know that he is a healer? It's when he heals. So, we need to rebuild in the church. Back home, we've started midweek services now. They are specifically dedicated to teaching doctrine. That's all we do. The guests we're going to invite will be coming to teach Doctrine. Because because the, you know, Christians are so shallow. That's why every wind that comes their way, <laughs> they are gone. We've got numbers of them. Many of them are. They are now Sangomas. They are now Sangomas. What has happened? Because they are shallow. It is incumbent upon us as pastors to ground God's people in doctrine. I can come and wave my hanky on you and you fall and, 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 and spit on you and spit on you. When you stand up from here and the winds of life come, will you still be standing? What keeps us grounded is the foundation. It's not the take it, brother. Take it, sister. I'm gonna take the it. Tata, tata, is this the circle? Tonight, I'm not gonna bless you. Now, I'm not gonna bless you. Let's talk foundations. I'm not gonna bless you. Whoever comes my way and asks me a question, and which is doctrinal in nature, am I able to answer them? Oh, all I want is touch. touch. No, I said, when I was at Bible school. <laughs> I'll never forget this evening. I talk about it a lot. Our in the evening. And we were given this assignment. And I was asked to write three pages. And here was the, the topic, if you will. Convince, Convince me that the Jesus that you've received is the Jesus of the Bible. No. Jesus. Jesus. You know, I thought you were going to hear me. <laughs> Until I took pen. I had to write. Wait, do I start? Yes, no, I feel this, you know. I feel this. It's right here, you know. But I had to write. I had to I had to write. I had to write. Give me empirical evidence that the that Jesus that you, you, you know, yeah, so that you feel is the same Jesus of the Bible. 
I came back to class. Having written nothing. I said to the lecturer. And I was, was this guy is American. So I said, Dr. Kalte, listen. Allow me to tell you. He he said, no. No. I asked you. To go and write. Can I give you that assignment? How many of you can ba- feel him? He's right here, you know. He's right here. Who is this that you feel inside? What are you feeling? Because a demon can possess a person actually. If, if someone comes to you and asks, convince that's how shallow Christians are. But if I can start now and say, ha ha! Wow, such as! All of you would stand up. But when I'm done, and the winds of life, the storms of the come, oh, ha it doesn't work there. Ha ha, I can see the we must be grounded in doctrine. Now I know that is not fashionable. But look at me, I am not fashionable. Pastors don't wear suits these days. I'm still the old school. So let's talk about solid foundations. Right. Let me start off by saying this. Thank you, sir. Do you know that I taught him in Sunday school? This guy. No. No. That's how young I am. Let me start off by saying this. Immaturity delays you from possessing your inheritance. Unless if you are Bushiri, you cannot buy your child of four or five a car. Why? They can't handle it. I don't know what went through Bushiri, but he did. And by the way, we can talk about it now because he, he vanished. Even if your father has got money to buy you a car, but if you are still immature, your dad cannot buy you a car. Not because he hates you. The car will kill you. You are not mature. A friend of mine gave this illustration. As I said, on, uh, 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 by the way, this is the message I preached on Wednesday. You know? If the friend was lying, it's a good lie. He said this. I don't know. Don't just take it and feel good about it. Just like me. If he is lying, just feel good. This is what he said. If you less than 40, Years of old, you cannot be trusted with a massive aeroplane, commercial aeroplane. Even if, even if you, you are licensed. Because your persona is very risky. You can be asked to fly this Boeing, this A bus to Namibia from Johannesburg. But because you are unreliable, immature, you can bring the thing over to AC to impress your friends. Because Below 40. You are living for your friends. If you are immature. You get delayed. From accessing. Your inheritance. I've got a verse for that. This is what Paul says in Galatians 4. Verses 1 to 3. He says, but now, to continue. 
the son who will receive his father's property is treated just like a slave while he is young even though he really owns everything to the corinthian church paul puts it this way he says, I have a lot to share with you but because you are not mature i can't share it with you I was talking to leaders at home. Even if I have a revelation from God, I weigh it. Against the congregation. Are they at a level where they can understand this? Please grow up. Please. You become too much of a burden to us. Because we must babysit you. What is to babysit? The nappy is wet. You don't know that it's wet. Grow up. Cool. Grow up. Cool. So he says, while he is young, there are men who take care of him and manage his affairs until the time set by his father. In the same way, we too were slaves. I want you to hear this. Of the ruling spirits of the universe. That's why when the going gets tough, the shallow Christian will run and consult his uncle, will run and consult all kinds of mediums because they are shallow. And because of the fact that they are immature, they are controlled by evil spirits. That is a fact. If you don't grow up, you don't have what we call stickability. You are under the influence of this evil spirit. Make sure that you grow up. I can't make you grow up. It's a personal responsibility. Please bear with me tonight. No, I can put you in the spirit, you know. I mean, you can crawl under these chairs in no time. Let us, let us just, just build on a solid foundation. Which is the word of God. Now, here it gets very interesting. Hebrews chapter 6. <laughs> this is where we are back home. This one, he says, therefore, we must progress beyond the elementary instructions about Christ. Listen to me, guys. Don't think for a moment that this verse says forget about Christ. No. If you're building on him, you are safe. Build. How many of you came here tonight and before you walked through those doors, you checked if the foundations are still here? Nobody. Okay. You know the foundations are still here. If I, I build my life on Christ, that is it. But then the Bible says, now that the foundations are laid, progress. Christians are stuck right there. You hear how they pray. Jesus of God. There's no such. But when you're a baby, we understand. Jesus of God. Uh, well, well, 
After 14 years, you still Jesus of God. Grow up. There was a time. Thank God for the mothers. They've got something unique. A baby, an infant can cry. <laughs> and cry. Okay. And the father holds the baby. I've been there. Hey, the, the baby cries. You see veins here. You see veins here. And guess what? I'm sweating. Beneath the sweat. It's tears, but nyembes. I don't know. And what do you want? The mother shows up, picks the child, and says, Oh, shame. Her nappy is wet. And I never felt it. And Eve. Oh, oh shame. My, my baby is hungry. I never felt it. And Eve alone. But the mother understands that language. But it is for a season. There must come a time where this baby can speak. Why in the church our pews are filled with infants? So when COVID came, it COVID showed us yes, that you are ushered by inf infants in the church. You are led in the worship team by infants in the church. You are having infants behind the pulpit. Shallow. We never moved. <laughs> That's why you will hear that in Motherwell. There is a man of God of there. Ah, 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 there is a man of God of there. Oh, come to a There's nothing wrong with the man of God, but I'm ah, telling God, you, God, 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 if you are this shallow, you are somebody who goes to which doctors <laughs> that are preaching. You will be there. Shallow. The scripture says progress. Let's all say that progress. He says, to the go beyond the elementary what instructions about Christ and move on to maturity. Move on to maturity. Move on to maturity. Move on to maturity. There was a time you needed someone to tell you go brush your teeth. You didn't have a problem. I mean, yesterday is still packed up here and you still Somebody had to tell you. Hey, well, hey. Yellow teeth, go brush your teeth. But when you grow up, you then become conscious that a normal human being Cannot walk around with loaded teeth like that. Cannot walk around with loaded teeth like that. Cannot walk around with loaded teeth like that. the pastor has not called us to fast and pray, they don't bother. 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 They I know it was never announced. But when you grow up, you take personal responsibility. You can sense it that now things in my life call for me to dedicate myself in prayer before God without somebody telling me to do Very shallow. Right? 
So he says, Utike. not laying this foundation again. I mean, Pastor Glenn, the funny thing about your friend here, when we, when we were building in Umtara, I said, don't trust me. I said, don't trust me. We raised money for the building. <laughs> and I'm, he, he was the guy who was bouncing things off. I said, yeah, now we started. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, so, so we excited. go to the building site. And uh, he, he stands there. He says, Pastor, you said we're building. Where? P. I said, no, Linga, listen. T- 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 the foundation is circle. He says, where? What is um, it? How was am I, I going to uh, put this? <laughs> because he that they wanted to see <laughs> the bricks. Utong is dead. Listen to me. Mamela. If you're going far, <laughs> you're going to start deep. <laughs> You're going to start deep. With our building at home, the, the auditorium. <laughs> I remember we raised just over 7 million rands. And we were excited. We were excited with building. And then I came back to the church. I said, okay, guys, we spend the 7 million. Uh, we million. We started building. They go to site. And they say, Pastor, you said, the seven million is starting to build. seven million say, I say yes. Yes. They say where? But And I'm like, Ish. I was telling the guys, our structure has got fifty-two of these columns. Around the building. Each of these columns has got a base. Just to give you an idea. The concrete in one base is the, size, is the amount of concrete that you use on the foundation of a three-bedroomed house with a double garage. Just one base. Three bedrooms Mm. Double garage. We have 52 of those foundations. They are underground. The base is 4 meters wide and 2 meters high. All underground. You know why? That's a 6,500 meter building. When the winds blow, it moves with the wind. Yeah, yeah, shuma no but it's going lentu. nowhere. What do I because the foundation is seco. The foundation is seco. So don't rush this oh, thing. You're not going to be Pastor J tomorrow. How's the be Pastor J? That's bad news so. to you, ladies. I know. You, you, because because every night you tell him, I don't know what's, what's wrong with you. you. Look, look, look at other man. men. Look, look at other men. Look, look at other men. Like Pastor J. Can you do that? Be generous to the guy. He's still a Jesus of God type of a Christian. Allow him to grow up. If you're going to build anything of substance, invest on the foundation. So he names these things. One, as foundations. Repentance from dead works. And faith in God. We're going to talk about that now. Two, teaching about baptisms. Kandi, how many baptisms? If I give you the mic, Asha, and say, just come explain to us. What is he talking about when he talks about baptisms? You're not going to stand here and say, um, uh, no. You should be flowing. Because this is foundation Number three, the laying on of hands. I did a teaching on this a few weeks ago. You know Christians, I can say here now, 
How many of you would like me to lay hands on you? Come here to the front. Don't come, I'm just saying. Can I ask how many of you would come? Show me your hands. Right. Those with their hands down are lying. They will be the first in line here. Here's my question. Why should I lay hands on you? Why should I lay hands on you? Hi, J, Pastor. Ah, you know, Pastor. No, there's no J here. Why should I lay hands on you? Do you understand the doctrine of laying on of hands? Do you understand? No, 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 you know, I watch back home. You call people for ministry. Now, here's the truth. Can I be honest? As pastors, we really have fun. You don't know that, but we do. Here they are, And we say to them, close your eyes. You know why we say that? Don't see me laughing. People are funny. So the is quick they play as well. And I'm praying and I'm like, Jesus, you mean certain I'm looking at the legs and I'm wondering what sort of legs are these and I'm praying. So I go down the line. When I'm towards the end, did you send the Here is the players here. The same legs are now here. So he ran. <laughs> a week ago, Nomsa <laughs> confronted one. Mm -hmm. the, on the, on the, we were ministering. We prayed for the sick with my wife. Mm. My wife, oh, she did something. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> she says, where now? Go sit. I'm a bottle of pants. Bottle of pants. Bottle of pants. So I ask her, Nomsa, <laughs> Saibu. She says, have you noticed what? every day? Yonke Mr. Lo comes here. Says, Amba, Amba, Amba. <laughs> <laughs> because people don't understand the doctrine which is a foundational issue. Resurrection of the dead. I'm teaching on that this coming Wednesday. An eternal judgment. Tonight, let's talk about the dead works. Repentance from dead works. What is dead works? this quickly. What, is, what the Bible talks about dead works. What is it talking about? If you understand the context in which this chapter was written, based on the previous chapter, you will understand what he is writing about. Dead works, in a nutshell, is nothing else but what I do for myself, by myself, without God. You thought dead works is rape. No. Ah. People who rape. Abandon bad doing lie. Dead words. Imi sebenze fileyo. Is what I do. Yilendo ndi enzayo. For myself. Tisenze lamna. By myself. Tisenze lango kwam. Without God. Utiko enge eko. If you're a teacher, and in the staff room, your staff colleagues room. say, no, we, we're moving out of the We're moving. People are, people are leaving. They are relocating to Cape Town. Guess what you do? You go home. You, you tell your family, we are leaving here. Can I ask you this question? Did God say leave? 
Because here's the interesting thing. The people who tell you that people are living, you came town. Then you leave for Cape Town. When you get to Cape Town, the people who told you that people are living are not in Cape Town. They are still in PE. Anything you do for yourself, by yourself, without God, it's dead words. If you're a Christian, you are marked by God. You are His. If you are His, you dance to His music. Not yours. Not yours. Isaiah puts it this way. All our works are like filthy rags before God. Listen to the good news, how, how he puts it. He says, all of us have been sinful. Even our best actions are filthy through and through. I don't care how good you think or how good you, your intentions are. If God is not in it, you will not succeed. You will never know peace. That's why in church, we have people with a string of Ishmaels. Because God was never there. Now we must pray for these Ishmaels. And you know Ishmael will never change. They remain Ishmaels. I almost said, ask your neighbor, do you understand Ishmael? Ishmael. So, here's my point tonight. Returning from dead works. Mm. When the source of what you have is not God, it's dead. If if the source of what you have is not God, it's filthy rags. Can I hasten to ask you in your life, what is your source? The things that you have how did you get them? This is Africa. No, we are in Africa. Did you see me? We are in Africa here. Yeah. I'm not going to preach like I'm in Europe. I'm not going to preach like we're going to preach like we're here. What is your source? We see the four cars. New every second year. We see the three-story houses. What is your source? I've got a friend who happens to be here tonight before Christ BC in his BC he wanted to have money and a lot of sheep and a friend at work <laughs> said to him, I can help you. I, I, it doesn't sound good in English. <laughs> yeah. I pelelik, I forgot. Listen, listen here. <laughs> How many of you have ever heard people I can say help that? You. I can help you. I can help you. You never say to the guy <laughs> in front of everybody, would you help me? What do you do? You say to him, come, come here. Come here. Come here. Can I? <laughs> so this friend, <laughs> 
The guy says to him, I can take you to Limpopo. <laughs> There's a guy there. <laughs> He's got ticoloshes. No, he sells them. No, I can get you one. A boy. Now he's going to look after your sheep. In no time. That crawl will be small. No, he doesn't play games, this one. And then he asked the guy, the friend of mine. Yeah. Do you have kids? He says yes. He says, do you have girls? He says, yes. He says, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Then uh, get two of them. A boy and a girl. Because if you bring that boy here, you've, you've got daughters. These guys are not here. <laughs> So, girlfriend. So, let's get a girlfriend so friend says, from the get go. He weighed this option. Loss of sheep. And my kids. <laughs> he says, No. I, I, I'd rather not go to the So, I'm asking you. What's your source? Where now? Because with this shallow Christianity, everything goes here. Don't say no. Just give me that bottle of water, please. I'll tell you what. If Pastor Jay, no, if if he can, about Pastor Jay, if he can take this, this this. Remove this. If he can remove the label. In Jesus' name, and put his face. You won't have room here. What he's got water. one on one. And then he has one on one sessions. Stupid Soweto TV. Stupid. That's stupid. I don't watch oh, the thing. For your one-on-one, -on -one, phone this And come with your gifts. And you will leave with your bottle of water. And so, hey, do you want water with your face on? Remove this thing. Put your face here. And then drink it. What is your source? Let us expose this thing. Our churches are neutralized mm. by people whose source is not God. I don't care. You can park your big cars outside and here. Was the question still remains. Who is your source? Because if you are still caught up in dead works, well, you don't get a bath in a Deben. You have to go and dip in a bath in Deben. Kwamashu. A section C. Mm -hmm, at section C. <laughs> Sorry, ladies from KZN. You leave a bath tub in your house. Man. This is where stupidity is. Stupidity to the highest degree. You go to a guy. He's got cracked heels. This guy doesn't know what is a shower. shower. This guy stinks. And then he's gonna make you rich. And uh, I'm talking to you in Africa. In Africa. Repent from dead works. No, I'm talking to you. Mm. 
And you ask how come we look? We're not fit to. It's worse when you sulk. You know, <laughs> you start sweating above your nose. What is your source? He into onum tombo ako. I'm not impressed. Mwa kuting bagen di akazek. No pastor change this car. Hamful zi change le yas le moto go. You are still Jesus of God. Oba osati Jesus of God pof. What is your source? He into onum tombo ako. Hey, Pastor, no things are shaping up where. Your phone says, Does your shangana, the shangana pee? What is shaping up? In the only shangana, Jesus of God. Jesus. <laughs> yes, so what you call? Yeah, yes, so what you call? Where, 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 nah, where, where, you, where, nah, oh, ten, you, uh, you, you, uh, no, come on, come on. Listen. Mamela. Listen. Mamela. Delight yourself in the Lord. Zioli se enkosi. And do good. Wenzo gulungi leyo. Dwell in the land. Uli shale ilizwe. Not visit the land. Unga li dwell in the land. Uli me ilizwe. And he. Yeah, will give you the desires of your heart. You don't have to go look for them. No. Delight yourself in the Lord. Let him become your priority. Let him become your source of everything. Let him become everything about you. That God will give you the desires of your heart. Is your yak. There is a very famous preacher in the country. Here. Yeah. Very well known. Very Let loved. me not call the name of the black community. We are, we are very loved. We are loved. <laughs> he is invited in a conference. <laughs> he tells the story. <laughs> <laughs> he knows this. The guy. <laughs> He finishes preaching. Oh, yeah. the, the, the building was packed. So he's having lunch there with the pastor. You know when, we, when we get spiritual yeah, yes, after preaching. And then they say to me, wow, what Pastor we, John, hey, what a word. And they start sucking the sweets. Ah, ah. 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 So he's doing this thing. Mm. And he says to the ha, pastor, ha, tika, Do you think the people received the word? And the host pastor says to him, <laughs> You don't have to bother about that pastor. I was alone, there was nobody there. No, no, I mean from the service that we had now. Yeah, no, I'm talking about that. There was nobody there. Ask him. Ask him. What? 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 What is your source, Pastor? What is your source? Pinch the guy next to you. Uh, no, no. Then I'll come to him. Just to feel if he's real. Put <laughs> number two. No, no, no. Hey. What is your source? That, that question, take it home with you. In whatever you have, ask yourself, how did it come here? No, I mean, I've been a pastor for over 36 years. I, I think I've seen a bit. You can't fool me. You can't fool me. What is your source? You think dead words is to have 14 girlfriends? Let's address that religious thing. 
You are covered with you are covering yourself with Christ and yet you have talisman and all these lucky charms What is your source? Let me end with this scripture. Man <laughs> Okay, Matthew chapter 4, listen to this. <laughs> Jesus has finished pre- fasting and praying. Who finished fasting and praying? Who finished fasting and praying for 40 days and 40 nights? Jesus. 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 The Son of God just finished fasting and praying. Listen who visits him. And you think he can visit you. Very good. Very good. Yeah. This guy is daring. Jesus just came out of fasting. Amen. He is on fire. And this, come, this one shows up. Because he never gets tired. Because He's like a guy whose proposal is is denied or rejected today. He comes back. No, I I grew up in Sunday school. I never did that. There's one girl I went to it's this one in front. And, you have and she so said, yes, you know from the onset. So the devil. Oh, Satan. <laughs> yeah. mm, he's, he's a, a playboy. Yeah. Comes to Christ. Yeah. Looked at him. Yeah. No, no, this one is hungry. Yeah. That I know what he can do. Nothing is impossible for him. But let me instruct him to do what I know he can do. If he can obey me, he gives me the upper hand. He says now, turn these stones into bread. Jesus says, it is written that men shall not live by bread and but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yeah, I'm and this guy moves. Yeah, then he came back. <laughs> and then he came back. <laughs> then he came back. <laughs> Let me take you to the third temptation. Verse 8. The message puts it this way. For the third test, the how many test? The many test? The no, he, he never leaves. He won't leave you. If you are shallow, you are going to, to bite your, your, your nails. And, Do I hear you? For the third test, the devil, the devil took him to the peak of a huge mountain. Can you picture this? Who did the devil take there? And who do you think you are when? If he can take Jesus. I like what the message says. He, he the Bible message. I can imagine him standing there. He says to Jesus. You see? <laughs> look, 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 look. Look, look. Look, you see? Look. Look. See this kingdom here? Yes, born as is It's entertainment. Business, arts, politics, politics, churches. If you can bow to me. Listen to how the message puts it. Mamela the message pointing out all the ads. Kingdom. How glorious they were. Then he said, 
They are all yours. Lock, stock, and barrel. Just one thing. Go down on your knees. And worship me. I will give you this. Place. Now you think you are silly. Hey, there is a guy in the Bible who was so hungry. And his younger brother, this guy was a hot skeleton, I'm telling you. He was a skeleton. This one is hungry. He cooked the best soup. He cooked the best soup. A tinge of aromat. And some pig fat. You know, some wild onion. Yavem. <laughs> And this one melted. It said, oh, please, my oh, brother. Oh, please. Then the young one says, You want it? <laughs> you want it? I can give you this. But let's agree on one thing, okay? If you take it, you are no longer the elder. It's me who's the eldest. Deal. 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 Siavumela. Do you know that offer is still made even today? Do you see these things? Listen to me. Mamela. There is nothing wrong. When God blesses you. you. You, you don't know what luxury is until you drive a Range Rover. You are high up here. They are down there. You know, you know what I'm talking about? There's nothing, there's nothing like that. You, when you close the door, you just push it. We are pushing. It touches. Not, not the Datsun. You smash the door. Your, your false teeth fly that way. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I can't put it your glory. But how did it get you? God wa uifu menenja ni fikenja ni kuwe. What did you have to sell? He don't let me go eat anything. And we command you. Sing kwa beleke. Wow, wow. Snome. Inugumlum. <laughs> he doesn't want to say it in English. Okay, let me help you. <laughs> when it smells, when, the, when you smell the new car, it's an expression where we say it smells like a white man. So <laughs> that is not true. There are white men who, who smell like a wet chicken. Hey. I know. Not all of them smell good. Hey. I had a friend, Umenjis. Daniel Omfrobo, Umenjis. Hey! Umenjis. Umenjis. It didn't matter what perfume you Katan put on. No ba umnige ipi perfume. Why are you looking bold, kwa man Umenjis? I stink like so a goat. No, not all of them. <laughs> so he's asking, just bow to me. What are you doing? Kuka anje. I'm appealing Kuka to you. I'm appealing to you, Diani pastors. Bongo, Let's bring our congregations back to Jesus. Please. Please. Let's Mas bring it. people Mas back to Jesus. Not the fake. Hai lom lom kokoten. Because people are vulnerable. The devil is messing up with them because they are not grounded. And it's not their problem. We don't teach. Uh-huh. Did you learn anything tonight?
<laughs> okay, nothing personal. You can have a BMW X5 and all these other. Ah, ungan ungan na X5 akong nagwen. You can drive the rest. Ungas kuba nesinyes ke. There are only two cars. Simbi nika lugo. SUV. Yes, SUV ka Range Rover. Range Rover. And the, the, the star. <laughs> and the rest, okay. Nesinye ke is. So that you don't walk out of here saying, Pastor Don was knocking our cars. No, I'm driving good. I'm driving good. And the source is not any of our mantinda. No, that's why I'm not ashamed. I'm not apologetic. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then God is going to I don't sacrifice my marriage to get cars. I don't sacrifice my children to make money. I don't sacrifice my values to have a big church. Those things mean nothing to me. Paul says, in him I move. In him I live. In him I have my identity. Not on this day. Let us cut this nonsense. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I wish all of you to drive Range Rovers. <laughs> but let's check the source. I wish all of you to have money. Check the source. I wish all of you to have as much as you can. Check the source. Because if it is not from God, you will never know peace. You will never know satisfaction. It must come from God. Bless you. In Jesus' name. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand again for this word. Praise the Lord. Shall we please remain standing, everybody in the auditorium, as we close the service? God is building His church again. God is building His church again. Every head bowed and every eye closed. We are going to take some time to pray right now. Maybe you are here tonight. Maybe you were invited by somebody. Perhaps you have been coming for some time. And God has touched you tonight. And you cannot say confidently that God is my source. Maybe you have depended on something. You have placed your trust in your own ability. You have relied in your own mind. Maybe you have consulted certain things. But tonight you are convicted that I need to make God my source. I must commit my life to God. My brother, my sister, if that is you, the Bible says the way to God is through Jesus Christ. Christ. He died and he rose again and he paid the penalty of our sin and he is the way he is the truth he is the life. This evening you too can make God your source. If you can open your heart and say, Jesus, 
touch my life. Jesus, forgive me from all my dead works. From this day on, I choose to repent from all my dead works. I have trusted in man. I have trusted in my talent. I have trusted in things. But tonight, I choose sober in my mind to make God my source. Lead me to Jesus. If that is you, where you are standing, I want to pray for you. And I want to pray with you. So you can repent of dead works. So you can give your life to Jesus. So you can make God your source tonight. People will not help you. Things will not help you. Mediums will never help you. But if you can give your life to Jesus, your life will be put together again. If that is you where you are standing, put up your right hand. I want to pray with you. Don't be shy. Put it up high. Put it up high. God bless you there. 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 Put it up high. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You're saying I want to open my heart and my life to Jesus. All those with their hands up, please come. I want to pray with you. Come. Come, come, all over the auditorium. Come, 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 come and make God your source. Come and make Jesus your source. Come, young man, come, come. Come and give your life to him. Come, 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 come. come. Who else needs to come? People are coming, church, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Clap for them. Clap for them as they come. Things are turning around tonight. Things are turning around tonight. Things are turning around tonight. Jesus is coming into your life. Things will never be the same again. Come, 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 come. 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 Anyone else? Anyone else? One more minute. One more minute. One more minute. One more minute. Anybody else? This is your day. Come. This is your moment. Come. Yes, someone else. Come on, church. Someone else is coming to make Jesus their source. Make Jesus your source. Make Jesus your source. Please stretch your hands towards them. Raise your hands. Lift them high. That is a sign of surrender. That is a sign to say today, I surrender, to I surrender my life to Jesus. Say this prayer after me. This is a prayer of committing your life to God through Jesus Christ. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus, I open my heart. I receive you in my life. Today, right now, I make you the Lord and the Savior of my life. Today, right now, I repent of dead works. Today, right now, I repent of doing life by myself with Without God. But right now, I choose to make Jesus my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Lord, that after this prayer, I am born again. My sins are forgiven. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name. Finally, you have been sinning by me. Father, I seal this confession. I seal this prayer that they have just prayed. Thank you, Lord, that today a change has happened, a transformation has happened in their life. They will never be the same again because Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he has come to live inside them. They are now children of God. Father, we pray that you will keep them in you you say in your word, Lord, I place you in the palm of my hand. You are mine and nothing shall pluck you out of my hand. 
thank you that today they are yours father we bless you for them in jesus mighty name come on church come on come on clap for them praise the lord thank you jesus thank you lord oh hallelujah praise the lord amen Listen, there's somebody behind you. They're just going to take five minutes of your time. Pray with you and give you a booklet that you will take home. Please turn to my left, your right. Just five minutes of your time. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, let's clap for them as they go. Praise the Lord. 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 Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Well, are you glad you came tonight? Have you received something? And once more, as we have been doing, the word that has been delivered today to us comes from the Lord and it will not be stolen in the name of Jesus. It is stolen in Jesus. We right in this, this word will not be stolen. This word will find root in our hearts. This word will germinate. And this word will yield fruit. We decree it, we declare it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, say no more dead works. Say no more dead works. Works. Say Jesus. Say God is my source. Say God is my source. In Jesus' mighty name, Hallelujah. Can you can you give five people a high five? Give five people a high five. Thank thank them for coming to church, Hallelujah. And and now, after the high five, can we put our hands together for? Pastor Don and Pastor Nomsa. Come on, Rock PE. Come on. You can do better than that. Come on. Let's thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Wow. Thank you so much, Mfundis. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There is something that we started just before COVID. We were calling it devotions that were taking place on Wednesdays. COVID came and took that away. It's coming back. Hallelujah. It's coming back. We are going to bring it back again. Whosoever wants to grow will come and receive. But the call goes to everybody to say on the Wednesday we will skip this one. We will plan well and then the other Wednesday we will begin. Hallelujah. Because it is a must. Let us get it started in the name of Jesus. Brethren, believers shall seek Jesus. Shall seek the word of God. God going to receive. We are no, refuse in the name of Jesus. Wow, thank you so much, oh, Mfundis. Thank you so much. May the Lord continue to bless you. May the Lord continue to protect you. May the Lord continue to anoint you. May the Lord continue to lift you higher and higher. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. May the Lord give you eagle eyes so that you can see much further. Utiko 
Upo mi obude. Ni pile ngona pagate. Ulungi sale lo luenu. Lufaka ale na kwa bakute. E gama liga yes. Magube nchalo. Magube nchalo. Kute kube nguna pagate. We thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. We bless you oh, in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the prophetic grace, Father. That is upon this ministry. Real life ministries. Thank you for the prophetic grace. Thank you for the intercession grace that is upon this ministry. Aizubiwa is Thank you for the governing grace that is upon this ministry. Aizubi wange kamalega yes. Isa ukubegega kuzisuguluana kuzisuguluana. And Father, I thank you that my God, the next generation, will catch the fire of God, and the next generation is catching the fire of God. Lomli lo ofu tangu basalibeto. Auzuti mange kamalega yes. Abandwa na balenzo. Abandwa na beto. Baza ufundi swanga masulu. And great shall be their peace. Great shall be their peace. In the name of Jesus. Ili swili katiko. Lisaza ushunya yelo. Lisa wamba ni kumegeke. Liofika kumaswe kumaswe. Abagute basaza uliva eliliswi Ibuyambo ya gutiko isaza ukwazwa We shall continue to say back to God Back to God Ziswe uyelani gutiko Ziswe uyelani gutiko Ziswe uyelani gutiko that is our mandate. That is our call. We embrace it. We receive it. Thank you, Lord, for restoring again the foundations. Take away to the man long. The says here, "Ka we as buisa, we as lungi sa wa kos, si abule la kos, si abule ge kama le gayes." You said it, Lord, at the beginning of this conference. What is the glory of the Lord shall cover this church? The glory of God, the weight of God shall cover this conference as the waters cover the sea. The weight of God will cover everybody. We thank you, Father. Come on, let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Go with God and have a wonderful time in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.